Hey guys, Tickle Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix a problem where the contact's name are not showing up on incoming phone calls on your iPhone. It might just display a number instead of the actual contact person that it's linked to. So how do you fix that? So a couple things you want to do when it comes to fixing that. First thing is go into your setting of your iPhone. And once you're in your setting of your iPhone, click on your Apple ID account up top here. And once you click on that, you want to click on iCloud. And under iCloud, you click on Show All. And under show all, you want to ensure that the contacts is turned on like that. And you click on merge. Now, for example, if it doesn't or isn't turned on or it's already turned on, turn it off and then keep on my iPhone and then turn it back on just like that. So turning it on and off will allow the contacts to sync up correctly if it's having an issue with the contacts name not showing up. Now, after you have done that, it's time to do a phone, a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down quickly one after another. And then you hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo up here, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold that side button just like that. And you want to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black. So wait for the screen to go completely black. You do not need to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. So we wait for the Apple logo to appear and let go of that button. And that's doing a forced restart. So if you're having any sort of software related issue affecting your iPhone, it will fix that issue and any issue, other issue you may be experiencing. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is actually go ahead and locate your actual contacts app, right? Just like that. And in your contacts app, you want to go where it says under list, go back to the list, and you want to ensure that all the lists are selected. Here, I only have iCloud, but in a scenario that you have multiple lists, you want to keep make sure they're all selected. Now, after you have done that, it's time to go ahead and create a one contact card just to make sure that the iPhone is reading all the other contact cards. So you're going to make one one that's just an any normal one, doesn't matter, just the generic one, not for anyone, just, just to make sure the iPhone is loading up all the other contact. So I'll add that and maybe add some just bogus numbers and then hit done. And that will create a contact card. And what that does is it rebuilds the database for your contacts list. So if the phone hasn't been able to actually figure out your contact list with the number. When you create another contact card, it will hopefully do that. And you can go ahead and always delete it after you see that it is working for you. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. The next thing to do is go into your setting of your iPhone. Under setting of your iPhone, you want to find mail. Once you click on your mail, under accounts here, you see here you should have multiple mails account and through your mail sometimes you might be getting specific contacts. So if you are, you want to ensure that you click on it and if contact is turned off for each of them, you want to go ahead and turn it on just like that on and off. Now if you want to on, of course, make sure you go through each of the ones and same exact thing. You want to turn on contact for each of them. Now after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing to do is go into your setting again. This time you'll go to the actual contacts card so you look for contacts here and once you do that under short name you want to ensure that it's selected to first name only and the option to prefer nickname so these two settings should be on and of course short name should be on as well now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out on your iPhone is go into your main setting go to general and this time we want to go ahead into language and region and this time we're going to temporarily set a different language and then switch back to our original language. So I'm going to add here English maybe since I am using the US one I'm going to go switch over to the UK one. It's going to set the language and that's fine and then I'll go ahead and back to adding the language. I'm going to go back to the US one to my preferred language and what that does is again it allows the phone to you know, refresh its a database so if you're having any issues it will fix it for you as well. Now after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do in your settings is go to general and then you want to go to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset and you want to do a network setting reset. Now when you do a network resetting, it only resets things like save Wi-Fi password and Bluetooth connected devices which you'll have to reconnect again. But again, this will take about a minute or two. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. 
Finally, after you have done that, it's still not working. The next and the last thing you want to do is make sure your phone is up to date on the latest iOS version. Again, in your settings, you're going to a general software update and look to see if there's a software update available. And if there is, it's going to show up. You're going to click on update now and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for the update to successfully happen. And after that, hopefully your iPhone is working as expected. And if so, please make the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix the problem where contact names are not showing up on an incoming call, leave it in the comment section to share with everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.